Hey there, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 12 of Stellaris One Planet Challenge, playing the Libra 3.3 branch, which originally streamed live on Twitch. And the Comic Con's idiots are just. Oh, yep, yep, yep. They're counterattacking. So let me fall back to my Bastion. Basically, I'm just hiding behind the Bastion here. Or. To, to, to not get smoked. Um, speaking of not getting smoked, I'd like to start trying to earn up to uh, 10k minerals again. But let me turn off shield boost and crystals. Save myself some resources. So my eyes are on this 5k fleet that is growing because it's about to combine with a 3k fleet to begin 8k, which is dangerous to me. But with any luck, if I capture the territory I want quickly, I'll be able to settle status quo with the Lazavada, ending up with a good majority of my claims, if not all of them. I did skip over Elamir, Mir, whatever it's called. Noted. Uh, so this fleet here, let's enter orbit and dry dock because it has a crew quarters which reduces the upkeep. It should help. Because my, uh, my consumer goods is hurting. Spraxis! Cheers! Thanks for the resub as well. 17 months. Is there a refresh timer for the artifact? Um, no, it's just cost. Uh, no, it has... No, I, I lied. It has a cooldown of 900 days, but that's not very long. But it does cost a whole lot of uh, unity, which is really the uh, the price. I mean, I could sell a whole bunch of my minor artifacts, but I'd like to save up for some Elgate res uh, Insight if I can. I don't know. I don't know what's worth more. Alright, Jordan. Let's cap this. And these guys... Okay, we're playing cat and mouse. They're going to Oezi Owaza, or whatever it's called. It's annoying. How's my ally doing? Oh, I don't really care. They became xenophobic. Actually, they're doing quite well. Looks like they reclaimed... No, they're really not doing... Well, so what's weird is they lost this territory, but they claimed all this territory, so it's kind of hard to tell. I think they're probably net neutral. They also claimed some of this stuff. So, yeah, it kind of looks like they're net neutral. No, 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 I'm not taking your stupid migrants. Uh, my fleets were dumb, and the one that was supposed to be following the other stopped following the other and started a fight with a totally different fleet that I wasn't aware of. So Mr. Elk has lost another cruiser. Man, you just have a suicide pact. Their big fleet went north, so I'm going to converge here. Uh, yeah. And I will be patron of the arts. Can I buy insight? Yeah, I can buy insight from the uh, science peeps, but I'm um, I'm not ready to make progress on that just yet because I'm trying to keep all the resources I have for for war effort. Incoming transmission. Are they leaving? No, they're coming back. All right, Jordan, catch up. Hey! Hype train level two. Thank you, guys. All right. If they're not coming to me, I'm going to them. I ain't waiting. Because they're just going to keep cranking out ships forever. Oh, yeah, they're, they're bailing. Forming the Galactic Council. Ah, I missed it. How much did I miss it by? Oh, I guess the Andarim really pulled ahead. I think what they did was they shoved a bunch of envoys in the galactic community right before the, uh, right before the determination. I don't blame them, but oh well. Felon Ward, you're, uh, you're welcome. I'd like to say thank you for your gifted sub. Yeah, well, I'm I'm happy to keep you subbed. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, they have some serious damaging fleets here. Um, I'm gonna send an offer for status quo because I'm not about to take on that 8k plus this 6k at the same time, and they'll accept it. That was the right thing to do. So thank you for the gifted subs too. Um, yeah. So I didn't get everything I wanted. Obviously, there's a considerable amount of border gore here, but I got a lot. I obviously won out big. Um, okay, so you guys head south fast. And apparently there is a wormhole I can use, but unfortunately the wormhole leads me to an enemy system, which is all sorts of weird. Um, Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is build a temporary starport here to repair my ships. And then... Oh, this is a stupid star fortress wormhole? Why? I might be able to sneak through. So I am at war with Awful Jor because they are, they joined the Andari Trade Association. Got it. They wanted a piece of this uh, spiritualistic butt. All right, kamikazes, let's go kamikaze again. Uh, I do have they ever open their borders to me? No. All right, so you scientists start getting all that beautiful researchy stuff. Look at this border guard. I kind of just absorbed. Why did they never go in here? I don't know. But I'll probably be able to get Brachium. Oh, also, I have a bunch of territories to raffle. Look at me. Look at me growing. Everybody's declaring war on me over and over and over, and I just keep pulling out of these wars bigger and bigger and bigger like I'm... 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 Uh, Kirby or something. Uh, so... Ryador? You're a Barrack Fox? Volmar? You are Sir Felon Ward. Congrats. Pyla? You're... Oh, a brand new sub. You're Mr. Grim there. Gentlecat! Hey, you won something! Not even a sub, you still won. See, I didn't rig it. Shadow Ravelin, you are way up in the north. And then... Farood, you are Tumbling Satellite. Hey, Tumbling. How's streaming been going for you? Did you, um... You didn't even raid, you're just here hanging out? I appreciate it, dude. JD, you are the second to last. And last goes to play... Oh, play class, you already own something. So, Kakata, do you own something? I don't, uh, if you do, let me know, but there you go. New systems. I can't decide what shape this is. It's something, but I don't know what it is. I like how the moment La Zavada looked like they were about to, to launch a, uh, a strong counterattack, I was just like, yoink, bye-bye. So let's update. Defend against... What are you called again? Awful and Andari. Man, I really am the Persona Non Grata number one. So, about 200 days for the starport to build. But, uh, given the damage to these fleets, I think it's worth it. The Kamikaze Idiots did catch up to the a fleet just sitting here. Anytime there's low-hanging fruit for me to just... Ooh, hello. Head on edge! You're psionic! What is your current job? You're commanding... Uh, the Paradoxus? Who is, where is that? Let's get you out of there. Oh, no, that was the wrong ship. It was the Paradoxus too. What? Whatever. Uh, so, you are going to switch with Glitch. Sorry, Glitch. You're getting... No, I take that back. You're going to switch with Mass Convergence. Where are you? What science ship are you? Stop. No more research debris. So, I'm putting you as the saddle researcher. Because you have biology and psychic. 
And then Glitch, you're gonna switch with Mass Convergence, who's a genius. Then Glitch, you are gonna go into Debris Research. Up here. And then that last scientist that got kicked out, Fnar, Fnar, Fnar. You're gonna be down here researching this debris. See, everybody is happy. Well, maybe not everybody, but happy enough. Awful Jor has leveraged their council powers to declare the resolution of Guardian Angels Act as an emergency measure. Um, which is reduced diplomatic weight from fleet power. Interesting. Uh, and apparently I'm one of the only ones against it. That's even further interesting. Okay. Sure. Come on, Starport. Field. Incoming transmission. Who the heck is you? <laughs> like Corvette just popped out of nowhere? Oh, no, 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 no. Corvettes don't do this. All right, let me uh, let me flag these Marauder Sisters systems as a do not enter, because my Corvettes were like, all right, we'll go to reinforce. Straight through the instant death, which is kind of dumb. So, what? Okay, there we go. It updated. I was like, I just said no, but then they were like, well, we go through it, right? But yeah, they got updated. They're okay. Yeah, perfect route for reinforcements there. Right through a... 16k wildling fleet. Yeah, it would be instant death. I haven't checked on my planets or stations in a while. They all seem to be doing okay. Uh, this one needs a little extra something. Let's put in a... Um, the trade district? What would be helpful here? More civilian industries because my consumer goods suck. Ooh, alloy time. Junk! Hey, guess what, Mr. Elk? Reinforce. 5k reinforcement. <laughs> That's how many ships blew up. Uh, and the archaeology site is done. Six minor and a whole bunch of engineering research. Okay, cool. Uh, hey you. Open your borders to me. I will, like, uh, tickle your feet. Or whatever the diplomatic equivalent of trying to make you a friend is. Probably not tickle torture. Debris analyzed. I want to get the anomalies here. That's about it. Holy cow, the debris against the Andari Trade Association is ridiculously spicy. I didn't realize that they were so amazing as far as um, technology goes. I'm I'm embarrassed about how far behind I became, but I'm spiritualist, so, you know, I'm not materialistic, whatever. Maybe it's not that embarrassing. Uh, this should be built any moment now. Yeah, 53 days. Evading heretics. Who? Oh. Yeah, get out of there. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. ZPMs are done. Uh, next up, we will go for... I'm going to get self-evolving logic because it's going to only take three months. And here, I'm going to go with Ecological Adaptation. Allow us to terraform inhabited planets, which uh, leads to better things. Council Denouncement, Lazavada? Yeah, sure, I'll denounce them. You don't have to twist my arm. Okay, everybody is actually against the uh, Guardians Act, except for Athor Jor, for some reason. Construction complete. And there we go. Now our starport is done, and I can start repairing my ships. So, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do here. I have a very good bastion in the south stopping Athor or Andari Trade Association from messing, messing with me. So it actually might be in my best interest to mess with Athor Jor or whatever they're called. 
uh, because they are... Uh, I'm sitting on their border, analyzed. able to do a lot more damage to them. Um, so yeah, I might end up doing that. I'm also going to throw in some star, uh, shipyards here to do repairs. And... Go with advanced combat rolls. Yeah, the, the, um, hey, Noofy Edge, thanks for the resub. The, uh, the relic costs, uh, 3k unity and 10k, uh, minerals to activate. It's amazing, but it ain't, it ain't free. It's pricey, but, like, worth it pricey, you know? I guess, technically, this is going to be the Kakata Shipyard. Let's rename it. I guess I dropped the letters. 357. Okada Shipyard. So my fleets are now repaired. I don't know if I want to, like, go smash against Bastions, though. That kind of... Well, I guess I could go to Nif Nifra. Oh. Shoot. Hey, Yonderim, what kind of fleets do you have? I wonder if I can just, like, table that and ignore it <laughs> and just keep using them. Actually, uh, yeah, let's, um, hey, while contemplating extending your contract, could you go against a bastion for me? The spirits for, have for no granted reason. us new wisdom. Battleships are done! Swanky! And now that we have battleships, let's go with... Ooh. I like Hellgate, but I'm not ready for that. So let's go with autocannons. This has a cooldown? Well, I'm going to abuse the cooldown as long as I can. Oh, god, this is just always in my way. Can't afford you, so we'll blow you up. I probably could sell off my resources to be able to afford it. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. But I'm kind of of the mind to just not renew it and get them get them to make one final sacrifice. So I don't suspect that my fleets are going to be able to, um... Yeah, here we go. I don't suspect that my fleets are going to be able to, uh... To upgrade very quickly, because it's just a shipyard with one shipyard for now. Oh no! The Comic-Con's idiots! Whatever happened to that fleet? If I could capture this Bastion and trade the fleet for the Bastion, that would be amazing. Which I think is going to happen. Rip and tear. Yup. Alright, so just hang in there for a second in a holding pattern. So that uh, I can make sure that that Bastion gets uh, replaced. You still asking for the same amount of uh, energy credits? You know what? It's probably worth it. Oh, wow. I am out of exotic gases. Okay. Copy that. Send the contract. Buy a little gases. And let's quit with the gases as fuel. They gotta be pissed about complete. that acquisition down there. I would. So my army is ready to invade Morost and Nifra. Analyzed. So that's, I think, where I'm headed next. 
Advanced combat rolls just got done. Dang, that was fast. Uh, let's go with better shields. This war is going to get pretty, pretty spicy pretty fast. Uh, could I do claims? Yes, I could actually do claims down here. I already have them captured, so I might as well just take them. Oops, I uh, missed and screwed all that up. There we go. If people just want to keep attacking me and putting me against the wall, I'll just keep absorbing more territories and becoming the great purple blob of the galaxy. I don't mind. I don't mind. Totally okay with that. Hey, trusty. How you doing, dude? Can't wait for tomorrow. So, for those in chat are wondering, uh, Trustin is another variety streamer, much like myself, with his own puppy cams, much like myself, and we play together every Wednesday uh, for some Project Zomboid. So, if you want to check out some fun uh, cooperative Zomboid slaying, uh, go give him a follow right now, because we'll be at it tomorrow at uh, four thirty. The spirits Eastern. have granted us new wisdom. How was Oni Our today? Our ships have been improved. Oni treat you well. I hope. Wednesday best day. I agree. Makes hump day very tolerable. Uh, so for you raiders, what is going on here is I am a little spiritualist trying to do the one planet challenge. I'm trying to uh, only colonize one planet and do the best I possibly can in the galaxy. I am this purple color here and I am kicking butt if I don't mind me saying. Uh, everybody keeps going to war with me. I've been at war with like two or three empires at once continually for like the last multiple hours. And I just keep winning because, you know, why not? So Our right ships now, have been I'm at war with probably the strongest two empires in the galaxy, I'd guess. Yeah, I'm actually at war with the strongest two galaxies in the empire. Uh, or, or the strongest two... I'm at war with the strongest two galaxies. I'm at, I'm at war with the strongest two empires in the galaxy. And uh, I'm faring pretty well. Pretty well indeed. Uh, so, yeah. Right at this very moment, I'm just improving my fleets, getting them ready to strike decisive blows against Athol Jor uh, while I hold down the south. I'm, I'm in a two-front war. I'm at war with here. Let me show you. I'm at war with red. Well, okay, not... Reavers, because I'm not at war with them. But I'm at war with this blob and this blob. And, yep. Let me turn off the mysteries of the universe, because that blinking gets annoying. So, I'm at war with the red blobs, and I'm doing pretty good against the red blobs. Incoming transmission. I wonder where all of uh, Andari Trade Association's fleets went. They had massive, massive fleet buildup on my southern border, and I just they just poofed. I don't know where they went. What happened to the series with the Great Con being reborn? Uh, it's getting voted on every time I play Stellaris, so it lost today. 30% uh, of people voted for it, 70% of people voted against it, so it's not going to make a return to the channel unless it wins. I have the two series going head to head. Ooh, I didn't realize I could go up an ascension tier. Don't mind if I do. So let's take a look. Right now, I have resources from jobs twelve and a half percent. Basically, everything is twelve and a half percent. Hey, Klein. Thanks for continuing the gifted sub. <laughs> That's a weird thing I didn't think I was going to say. So let's increase our ascension tier for our homeworld. Yes. And now it's 15%. A 15% gain. I like it. I like it our very much. Our ships have been improved. I haven't uh, done that before, so that's kind of all new to me. So at this very moment, what I'm doing is I'm improving my fleets. And I'm waiting for a bunch Debris of reinforcement analyzed. ships to arrive at Mr. Elk. Because Mr. Elk, I queued up a ton of ships to be built, and they just haven't arrived yet. I'm waiting on them.
Oh, no, you don't. They're trying to take back their uh, bastion. Yo, kamikaze idiots, get. Orc world is becoming egalitarian. You know, I really wish those uh, messages would tell me what they used to be. Like, what they ch exchanged for egalitarian, because I don't have, like, an eidetic memory. I don't remember what they were. So it really doesn't help me when they're like, oh, they're becoming more egalitarian. From what? Authoritarian? Because that would be significant. Oh, they, they dead. I show up, they die. Uh, let me just bomb New Reef here. You know, because I can. It also looks like... Uh, Yonderim is sending some backup fleets here, but like tiny ones. So they must have... Oh no, here's a big one. Our ships have been improved. I guess they're coming. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Ecological ad adaptation is done. Let's go with... Ooh. Commerce megaplexes? No. no. Let's go with telepathy. Finally, that seems like the uh, the sensible thing to do. So, Droiden's fleet is nearly done upgrading. I don't know where the uh, the reinforcements are, because what ends up happening? It's a little weird. What ends up happening is the reinforcements are just like traveling somewhere. Our ships have been improved, and I don't know where they're uh, they are physically in the world as they're traveling. I'll go to the fleet manager maybe will tell me no uh, I don't know I really don't know how I can see that they're being reinforced with 24 more ships but I don't know where those oh I guess they just are they getting there yeah they're kind of there now so with this new fleet here yeah they just arrived yeah okay uh, let's strike up against Marist. Let's start actually hitting the authority of Athol Jor. The authority, I'll just call them the AJs. So let's punch AJ in the, in the, in the jammy jams. Debris analyzed. What we're trying to do is we're trying to just, um, man, our war score is awesome. We're trying to just do a whole lot of damage to them to more or less punish them for the, for declaring war on us. I can think is the sort of TLDR. Holy heck, Mr. Elk, wait up. Oh yeah, here's some more reinforcing ships for Mr. Elk. So now Mr. Elk's fleet's actually bigger than uh, Droiden's. Well, not in fleet strength, but in terms of sheer number of ships they are. The Kamikaze idiots are down here, and what I probably should do with them... Oh, this is their capital world? Don't mind if I do. Let's have the Kamikaze idiots try to do as much damage as I can before I relieve them of their contract. So that I get the most the bang for my buck out of us them. New wisdom. Uh, I do have a new tradition. So, I'm just going to call it Adapt, Merc, Prosp, Diplo, Subter, Supreme, or Unyield. I know that, that almost sounds like Diablo 2 runes. So, adaptability is habitability and food, diplomacy is diplomacy, trust. Envoys, whatever. Mercantile is trade. Prosperity is mining. Subdiffuse is spying. Supremacy is attacking. Unyielding is defending. There you go. Vote on your rune. Give you a little little bit of time there. Um, new tech. Mining stations just got done. Let's get... Uh, Ripper cannons. Because that might be fun. And here we are, actually striking at a world. This is, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's my first world invasion. I don't believe I've invaded another world yet with an army. So this is, um, fun. 
I guess. So why has no one touched this uh, 25 size Gaia world? Is this like super cursed or something? Are there ghosts? I think there's ghosts. No one's telling you about it. Lazavati, you better effing not. Oh my god, you better effing not. They're gonna do it. Are you serious? Are you- Oh my god, they're doing it. I am going to kill you, Lazavada. They're, uh, they're claiming this for themselves. They- because I've been at war with them recently. Uh, I have an open border with them. For... Six more years or something. And they just, like, jumped to grab Brachium. Little... Little turds. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother finishing my survey project. And this construction ship, I'm just gonna disband. Because it was gonna go exactly to do that. Um... That's going to be some annoying border gore, but whatever. I'll just take it from them. All right, you all want supremacy pretty clearly, so I'm just going to cancel that early and grab supremacy. So adopting supremacy immediately gives me additional army damage, which will be fun to invade a world with and more f uh, ship uh, fleet capacity. Debris analyzed. So Ming or Merg or whatever this is called has 300 garrison, and I'm going to land even though we haven't bombarded them very much because I have Cy Cybrex Warforms invading their planet. And Moron Zombie, cheers. Mm. Our champions are making planet fall. May the so here's the Cybrex Warforms that, as you can see, are very, very powerful compared to my normal troops. They're not really getting hurt because they're scary big. Think like, um... Mega... No, uh, I'm not Megatron. <laughs> Optimus Prime. I think I think that was a bit of a... Um, maybe Liberty Prime. I don't know. I don't know. What do you call a giant robot that fights for spiritualists? I really just don't know. We're, we're, we're way into unexplored territory here. Our little Our Gundams. Our champions have secured a heathen planet. And there we go. We secured the heathen planet. Thank you, Cybrex Warforms. And what we're going to be doing is we're... Let's go to the capital. Let's go to where it hurts the most. Oh, I might want to get Rankton, though, because Rankton connects to Ray Curva. Also, why on Earth have... Um... Okay, so my Kamikaze idiots have committed kamikaze now they're like basically destroyed but i don't care because uh, yonderim has shown up in the south now uh yeah i'm gonna go strike against their home world because i think that would make them the most upset oh before i do that let's repair i forgot to do that and i'll speed time up so that you get some you get you get some bang for your buck out of this uh let's see Generator District, let's do... More Synthetic Crystals, and... I want to get Artificial Gas, but I'll do Chemical Plants for Moats. I do need to save up for more Minerals. Oh, let's do this now. Bada bing, bada boom. I guess I don't have the unit. Yeah, I don't have 3k unity yet, but I'm going to do the change for 10k minerals to alloys and then probably to reinvest in more habitats because the habitats have been doing real good for me. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. So here's my little marauder fleet that I hired out getting destroyed, which I'm okay with because I pay for them and I don't want to pay for them anymore. So them getting annihilated is fine. I like how he gets promoted as he dies. Nice. Medal of Honor right there. New physics research. Uh... Hmm. I can do plasma accelerators. I'm not worried about that in the south because, um... Because my allies here have just sent a crazy giant fleet southbound. So it's not going to be an issue at all. And there we go. There's the alloys. And, uh... I don't have any of my construction ships 
where they need to be in order to take advantage of that, because why would I? So let's go get a construction ship going. I also have battleship classes that I've unlocked, but I'm not I'm not needing them right now. I know you all probably want me to raffle off to figure out who gets the, the fancy name of battleship. Holy cow, wisdom. that's a lot of trade value I've disrupted. 256 trade value. Uh, can you post a code for the game in the chat? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. You wouldn't be the first. And thank you, by the way. That's kind of you to do that. So we're going to get Positronic AI to get a little bit more research bang for a buck. As Fnar dies. Yeah, I saw that coming. I was deep in enemy territory. So here's the thing. I can... I can right now, if I wanted to... Um, settle status quo, but I'd rather just humiliate them. Debris I'm gonna go for the jugular, because I have no chill. They started this war, and I'm going to humiliate them, because not only will that hurt, not only will I gain influence, but it will hurt them in the galactic community, reducing their diplomatic weight significantly. So that's, that's, that's what I'm doing now. We're, we're, Oh, God, they have a 24k fleet sitting there for me. Yeah, I might not be going that that far. Let's let's go punch something easier, like babies or something. I don't know. <laughs> let's get out of there. Bye bye. <laughs> I'll go camp uh, other worlds. Oh, yeah, they're chasing me. I bet they turn around, though. Do they? The spirits have granted us new Do wisdom. I humiliate both? Um... So my war goals here are humiliation of just Indari, because they were the ones that started it. Not Athol Jor. But I can't make that claim now. I had to pick the claim at the, uh, or pick the war goal at the start. Uh, let's go for Neutronium Armor, which is the highest tier short of specialty armors. Are they chasing me? No, they're just sitting there. Debris analyzed. Hey, Ascendancy's crew. How is playing Dota today? And welcome. Yeah, playing Dota too. I am, uh, yeah, this is kind of like a, a MOBA. It's not, but I'm treating it like one. Relocate Galactic Market. Definitely not. Right now it's located at my capital, so relocating it cannot be good for me. Yeah, that's an awesome emote. They have battleships, so they think they're awesome. I mean, I have battleship tech, complete. but uh, I'm just not using it at the moment. Whoa! Dang! That is a strong star fortress. Ouch. And Droiden's always slow to show. But here we go. We're going to be... Um, Invading another planet. Now, the thing is, if this war starts to look like it's headed south, I can always just status quo this real quick. And um, uh, settling status quo actually has me capture a whole lot of their territories. So, like, it's still good for me. All right, my armies are ready to invade. Go. Our champions are making planet fall. May the spirits protect them. And repair my fleets. I don't know why they're not chasing me. I guess they're so scared of losing their capital that they're the just not leaving. Have granted us the kamikaze wisdom. idiots are back. Uh, just go kamikaze. I don't care. Whatever you, whatever you want to do. Our champions have secured a heathen planet. So there goes another one of the planets captured by Mia, moi. And as soon as Droiden and Mister Elf repaired, I'm gonna go after another world, maybe Jin. Yeah, I'll go after J. I guess it's called J. Societal research. Oh, and I've left that up forever. I should have hid that a long time ago. Um. Hmm. Maybe increasing my intel level and edicts fund. Uh, so my current edicts fund can only support about 20 more, which is not a lot. So I'm not going to do that just yet. But I will pay for exotic gas fuels 
so for me to hop around a little faster. Uh, I totally forgot that I was um, trying to set up more Habs. Whoa, there's so many Habs I can build here. So let's start at the inner ring and work our way out. You, scientist, what are you doing? I don't know. Go assist research. This one... Find, uh, unlock all the debris. No, don't skip it. I hate when they do that. So, Mr. Elk, follow Jordan. Jordan's slower. So, Jia here doesn't have a star base, so it's going to be really, really easy to tackle. Very easy to push over. Uh, with one planet challenge, how do I deal with other planets Debris owned by other people? Uh, you mean like if I claim them? I will either depopulate them or just give them to an ally or give them back or something. My mineral production is high? It is. It is. In fact, I could even go for more alloys. My economy is like like S tier right now, just to point that out. Uh, so this planet has a little bit of a garrison, but not one that's going to stand up to my Cybrex war forms. And I'm going to let my uh, mercenaries go because I basically got them destroyed. Oh, mass convergence, you died. So... I have a lot of uh, energy credits. Let me just cycle some lead. Oh no, but this causes this costs unity now. I forgot about that. I'll cycle a few because I have some spare unity. I'm hoping to find like a good scientist. There we go. Here's a little custom AI scientist. And you are going to be named Lorenzo. Congrats, Lorenzo. Oh, my army really fell behind. I think I screwed up the follow. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Oxfire controls we just unlocked from debris, which is cool. We're actually getting a lot of debris out of these uh, enemies. A ton of them. So, Jordan and Mr. Elk. Where is the next sophist target? Oh, definitely ye there. Go after this unguarded planet. That's going to hurt their feelings. And as you can see, my war score is going up Our and up and up as we are capturing their, uh, their homeworlds. And that's going to be really, really easy to claim victory and humiliate them. Plus, I get the, I get the science debris on the way. So after we take Illithum, or whatever it's called, the easiest next might debris be Autron. Analyzed. Sure, I'm saying these names wrong, but they're all made up names. Okay, uh, let's check elsewhere, making sure I'm not. Oh, sweet. Bigger capitals on my uh, habitats, except for you. I don't know why this one was singled out. Because I have 9, not 10 pop. When do you hit 10? In... Heretic fleet detected. 60 months. They probably migrated. So there's a fleet of 1,000? Really? Why would you even inform me of that? Yonderim is becoming xenophobic. Wait, that was already true. That happened, like, long ago. Oh, God, they're even more xenophobic. Okay. <laughs> uh... Yeah, yeah, I think they, what, they started at, what, like, military spiritualist and, like, xenophile or something. They are becoming, uh, very troubled in their phobias. Becoming, staying friends with them is going to be very challenging, because they are, uh... They're becoming increasingly, troublingly xenophobic as time goes on. So here's another world for me to quickly invade. And then I'm going to turn my attentions 
uh, Our champions are Atura. making planet fall. May the spirits protect them. Heretic fleet detected. And done. All right, we are 29, 30. Oh, no, we are. What just happened? Whatever just happened. I'm not sure. We just lost a lot of war score. Oh, uh, I think it's because the Andari just struck good blows, maybe? Look at this trade value, 517? My goodness, that is a lot of trade. I think at this point, what it might be worth me doing is to use the 669 influence that I have to claim as much um, to claim the things that I have captured and then to settle status quo. So I don't want their planets. I'm going to take Grauman here if I can. And to settle this war out. Before I claim this, what are you, Holy Guardian? Oh yeah, that's fine. They're not going to care. So, we own this and this, so I'll claim that. So some of these I'm not going to be able to keep because I um, I don't have I, I don't have them captured. But here we go, claims and status quo. Because it looks like in the south the fight is starting to turn against me. So let me pause a second and analyze what just happened. So I got this, oh, I got bade though. Um, I will give that back, oddly, because I don't want to have to deal with that. Because uh, I'm not allowed to have two two planets. So I'll destroy their star base and offer trade deal, transfer bade back to them. I know it seems really strange that I'm giving it to them, but it's so that I don't violate the rules. Uh, which I'm sure they're going to want to take that back. So if we analyze, and that does uh, give a little bit more border gore. Debris analyzed. But there, uh, we give it back. Okay, so if we take a look here, we got... Oh, we also got Illithum? I, oh yeah, that was populated. Shoot. God, I have so many species that I do not want. I'm gonna see if I can't keep Illithim. What the heck are you? You're like a... Yeah, I don't even know. So I'm just going to try to cause a mass exodus of undesirables from Illithim. No, I, I wanna get rid of it. So maybe I'll give it to Spucklax or something. I don't know. I'm not gonna give it back to Othel Jor. Yeah, I'll do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this uh, stream up because I'm just about out of time. But I want to not violate any of the rules that I have, and I want to stay one planet challenge. So I got to get rid of their forge world there. Should have thought about that. But I do have Beyond Zat, which will be named Trustin. Good name. And then in the south of the stuff I picked up, we have got. Shield or Quam. So I have both of the shields. Zeno for Rucklar. Ascendancy. And thank you for the raid again. Now you now you have a permanent namesake in my galaxy. Shake bakes. And last but not least, Droiden. Droiden's been helping me a lot with trying to uh, to put Twitch Toolkit back together so I can use it. But it's like proving to be Humpty Dumpty, I'm assuming. Or not assuming, I think we know. Um, the last thing I need to do is to trade Ithlam out. They just need to accept it. There we go. And we're done. We've just about wrapped up. So if we take a look here, um, I am hard flexing on the galaxy.
my my current priority here. Hard flex. Yeah. With one little dinky little planet, I have significantly expanded my holdings. Uh, the galactic community, I'm not doing so hot. Hold on. Let me just assign a bunch of the current envoys that I have. And yeah, so I'm like fifth. I'm fifth. Uh, I do need to turn my attention back to having. I have tons and tons of resources. I have almost 10k energy, 7.5k minerals. I'll easily be able to turn that into a lot of um, alloys and then just start colonizing more habs right, left, and sideways, which I think is going to allow me to start to catch up to some of the other empires because some of these other empires just have a lot of planets that are hard to catch up to. But we're doing quite well. We're doing uh, even better than I thought we would at this venture where we have not lost a single war and we are just expanding like crazy. Thank you for tuning in to Stellaris One Planet Challenge, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 1st. This series, I'm playing the codenamed Libra beta branch of Stellaris, which sort of redesigns the way Unity is worked into the game. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have links to Discord. Discord also has ways to sign up for notifications of upcoming streams and events that I put on. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you catch another episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody.